What's up, Scratchers? It's been a while, but I'm here to announce our first global game jam. Originally, this was just going to be a Unity competition, but come on, this is pretty cool. I love this template. Let's do it in Scratch. So for the Scratch competition, you'll need to remix my starter template, which has the basic rocket ship game. Let me go ahead and play this. Now it's mobile friendly and it needs to be mobile friendly. So when I touch the screen or click on the mouse button, the rocket fires and the goal is to land on the, the landing pad softly. For the competition, you'll remix this template and then you'll make it better and more original. You'll use your own ideas and your own code to make my game awesome. Now, it is kind of cool. So let me just give you a quick tour of how this works. First of all, there's a start button and all that button does is broadcast a message called play game. So all of the other sprites are waiting for that message, the receive play game. Why do I do this? Because I don't want any of the code blocks to run until I tell them to. And if you put a whole bunch of win green flag starts, they'll all run at the same time and it makes your game a little buggy. Okay, let's check out the rocket ship, which is our most important sprite in this game. You'll notice that I turned it on its side. That way it works better for following the mouse pointer. Then I also made a costume that is an explosion and feel free to make a better looking explosion than mine. Now at the beginning, code in the rocket ship, it does have a green flag. When the green flag is clicked, it's going to go through all of these kind of setup code blocks. In this case, hiding it, setting the size, and creating all these variables that we need. Now, one really important factor here is I made a variable called game ready, and I set it to false. That way, the game won't start until I actually really want it to start. And I don't want it to start until I've created the gravity or set the gravity and set the thrust. Then once those are kind of decided, then I can set game ready to true. So definitely the most complicated part about building this template was trying to make the rocket land on the landing pad. So I'm giving you some starter template that works pretty well, but I'm sure you can improve it. I have two if statements. The first one is if it lands correctly. So the thrust has to be greater than the gravity minus two. Why? Well, basically the thrust has to be pushing the rocket up just a little more than gravity in order to land softly. Also, it needs to be touching the landing pad, which is called Sprite 1 right here. Okay, the code block that I wrote that determines whether or not you've crashed and ends the game, it's not very good. The basic idea is if gravity is greater than thrust, then therefore you must be falling to the earth and you're going to explode. That's the basic idea, but making this work correctly, I started to kind of fix the bugs and create more bugs. It's sort of up to you to take this and make it work properly. But the idea is, is if you don't land correctly, you blow up. And for more information about the competition and the prizes, go to hackingtons.io forward slash game jam one.